So I picked up these two women last night. They were out on a night in a town in Blackwood and I was taking them home. So got in and the one woman was absolutely leathered, like literally blotto. And the one got in, and the other one sort of struggled to get in a bit. And you know when you, you, you're that drunk and you get to a certain point where you just got no sense of how loud your gob is. Well, she was at that point. So she's there talking to her friend and she's going, oh yeah, no one's gonna mess with our taxi driver. Look at him, look at the size on him. I don't know whether it's because I am fat. <laughs> I am. I am quite a big, I'm a big build. But I got quite muscly arms and it's only, if you were to look at me from behind, you would think I was just like muscle. It's only when you see my belly, you think, yeah, he's a fat boy. <laughs> So she kept saying it over and over and her friend was going, shut up, he can hear you. And then she started saying it quietly and I, I just went, I can still hear you, hear you, you know. She was like, oh, oh. Her friend was going, shut up, you keep saying that, he's going to kick us out. And I felt like saying, yeah, we will if you carry on, because you are starting to get on my nerves. And this girl didn't stop talking crap all the way home, literally. She was just talking about any old crap. And then she was adamant that there was somebody sat next to me in front of the car. I only picked two people up. I was like, no, there's nobody in here. I don't know what you're on about, there's nobody in here. Sure, I, I turned the light on. I said, look, there's nobody there. Oh, where's our friend then? Her, her friend was going, well, there's only us two left. The others have gone home. No, we're supposed to meet somebody. No, they've gone home. And she kept saying it over and over and over. She's like, no, no, they've gone home. And then we were driving a bit further and she was going, no, we're supposed to pick them up from here. Where are they? She's like, no, we're going home, you bloody mo. And then when she, I dropped her off by her house and, and her friend was going, oh, can we just wait for her to go in? I was like, yeah, sure. We're waiting for her to go in. Next thing, she's knocking on the window. Her friend winds down the car window and says, what are you knocking on the window for? She goes, there's somebody in my house. And her friend went, yeah, it's your bloody boyfriend. She's like, just sort of faffing around outside. And next thing, she knocks on the door and then she finally went in. And I was just thinking, I turned around to her, I said, do you get paid to look after her? And she went, no, I wish I did. She said she's hard work when she's a drink man. And I was like, I was thinking, oh my God, that's gotta be, I couldn't go out with somebody if they were like that. I could not. If one of my friends couldn't handle their drink and they were like that, I'd be like, no, this is ridiculous. <laughs>